Good afternoon, welcome to my laboratory. Okay, this is part two of uh, driving a MOSFET with, uh, <laughs> by uh, keeping the gate pinned to zero voltage and lowering the voltage at the source. Uh, before, I had a, a 9 volt battery and this rheostat in to provide the negative voltage to the, to the source. This time, I've removed that and I'm just going to use the function generator to substitute for the potentiometer and the uh, battery. Okay, so here I've again simplified the circuit altogether. The negative output from the Elenco Precision Power Supply, which is set to 12 volts, negative output is going to the gate of the MOSFET. All right, it really is. It's going to the gate. Okay. And the positive output of the Ellen Co. is going to the light bulb and then to the, through the light bulb to the, so, uh, to the drain of the MOSFET, the middle pin. Okay. Can you see that? Okay, so that's gate, drain, source. Right? Okay, so the uh, from the bulb to the sort or to the drain of the MOSFET and then from the source of the MOSFET to this little wire right right here. Okay. Alright. And right now I have the function generator's output, the black and red output leads of the F43 going directly into an oscilloscope probe. And the probe is set for no attenuation, 1x. And then here's the screen, the scope display. Okay, it's the I'm, I've put the the ground baseline right on the center radical marker here. So ignore these letters over here. We're looking at this trace at five volts per division with no attenuation, DC coupled. Okay, and now I'm going to bring up the function generator drive. Okay, so that's 10 volts negative and 10 volts positive, right? Two full divisions. All right, right? Pay particular attention to this 10 volts negative here. Okay, so obviously we're switching very, very slowly. So I'm going to turn the amplitude back down. So that's a straight line. And now I'm going to hook up the function generator and scope probes to the system here. Uh, let's see. The gate, remember, is the negative rail for this circuit. Right? So let's just hook that in there. And the... Uh, I'd like to show you the schematic, but I can't find it right now. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Okay, here's the schematic. Okay, so you can see that I just removed the battery. I just whited it out, the battery and the rheostat, and I substituted in the function generator just exactly like where the battery and rheostat was, right? Okay, so here we go. So now the red function generator output and the scope probe tip go to the source of the MOSFET. Right? Just like this. So I've got the probe tip here and the probe reference at the common circuit ground. Gate. Battery. Supply negative. Right? Okay. So now let's turn up the amplitude on the function generator. All right. I have made no changes to any of this since the last time we looked at the screen. So here we go. Amplitude coming up. Oh, sorry. Uh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Oh, it wasn't connected. Okay. The, the uh, clip had come off of the circuit there. All right. So here we go. Amplitude coming up. Now look. I get the same 10 volts positive 
but the negative now only goes to minus 4 volts. You see that? Remember before it was 10 positive and 10 negative. I've changed nothing. I've just turned up the amplitude. But look at the light now. Well, I really want to show this all to you simultaneously. But it keeps coming unclipped. Hang on. There. Now let's see. Is this starting to make sense to you? Donnie? Rosemary? Okay, there will be more. Thank you for watching.